Welcome to Unequal Opinions this week, guys. It's me, K. Dot, and James, and we're here to talk about debate, discuss. Did he just try to do a dance? Did I you did. try to steal my bet? I did. Shitty uh, shimmy was Usually bad. you and fucking Ryan do it. So just saying it was, the, it was a shitty shimmy. shimmy. You didn't do anything. If if they jumped off a bridge, would you jump off of it too? Okay. Well, that was your logic. I mean, if That's everybody's jumping logic. and you jumped last week, and then this time you're supposed to jump, like why not? I don't think there'd be another week, is my point. Like, I don't I don't think there'd be another I mean, he's week. Here, jump. So he jumped and he's fine. <laughs> Okay. So, you know what? Cool. None of my business. It's a, it's a me and Ryan thing. It's not a me and you thing. Get your own thing. <laughs> None of my business. There's your thing. All right. That'll work. You trademark it. Anyway, <laughs> we're here to debate basically Batman versus Iron Man, aka Bruce Wayne versus Tony Stark. And we're going to break that down into five categories. I'm going to start with James, surprisingly rocking, rocking the Batman shirt. Uh, for some odd reason, even it was a surprise match with the shirt, but it's a nice hat, so we'll let it ride. I guess appreciate it. I actually did forget that I was wearing a shirt. Oh, okay, because yeah. All right. Um, cool. so you're wearing a shirt. Hmm. I'm. J- I don't know how you forget you're wearing a shirt. I forgot that we were doing this pod. He forgot just, that he I just had on a shirt like randomly. He forgot yeah. that he should like. And sometimes know, I forget that I'm wearing a shirt or if I'm not I, wearing I, a shirt. I imagine I'm James that. opening up the drawer, finding the Batman shirt, putting on a sit in front of, stand in front of the mirror, just like his chest off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, was like, he, was like, he was like, oh, the Giants are playing today. But, yeah. Let me like, put on oh. my Giants hat. It's, it's like, oh, yeah. Let me, Every let me day I want to be Batman. <laughs> All right. Um, oh. But before you start, James, I just want to mm-hmm. say we're kind of breaking this debate down into five categories and that's philanthropy wealth combat intelligence and feats um and so i added another one (laughs) you added another one just just to just to make it somewhat more even (laughs) just to make it even (laughs) it's it's still not even but kind of who are you helping you just added you added a six so it's even what's the point now i'm trying to see what what category (laughs) look man i felt bad (laughs) yo you say do you think bruce was body and We'll get to it. No, don't, yeah. don't even tell us. Don't even tell us. We'll get to it. Okay. okay. Um, and we're using like MCU, DCU stuff, not not comic stuff at, at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and just like film stuff. All right. So James, go ahead and get it started. Batman. <laughs> just by just far. Batman. Just listen, Batman listen, by far. Listen, listen, all right. I, I Do I need love. to give you a category to start with? Yeah, give I'm, him a fucking category because he's going to be saying Batman. No, no, <laughs> no, I was going to go through like my reasoning first. Now, let's go one listen. category at a time. Right. Let's go yeah, one yeah, category right. at a time. Let's start with philanthropy. Let's start at the top right. of the list. Philanthropy, okay. Batman. Clearly. Okay. Like, you got Tony Stark who provided weapons to the enemies. <laughs> They're like blowing shit up. Then you got Batman who, like, damn near, like, built the whole fucking city like gotham he built his whole family did it yeah like I've, it's like oh yeah the way points. yeah so tony stark producing mass weapons that are used against all of us which is evident in the beginning of the first fucking marvel movie <laughs> so all right so then let's go to wealth um well, no, no, hold on, hold on. Before you go to work, yeah, I want to, I want to hear K dot's philanthropy right counter to that. All right, so I understand what you're saying, but I mean, I can also give some shit to Bruce Wayne too. Like you said, we were going DC EU, but like, can I bring him the Nolan stuff? Can I bring up? Well, yeah. So we're do we're, we're doing basically we'll do bail to uh the that works that works perfectly. The we'll say, like that we got the bail, that works. I like that. I like that. So if I'm going on the bell stuff, you can look at Batman Begins and see they use the fucking Wayne tram to poison the whole goddamn town to turn itself into each other. I'm just saying, people's the, it, things have been used and things have been done. You also know Wayne Industries, as far as everything that the, the, the Christian Bale Batmans were, is all military equipment. It's not like the Wayne industry is completely clean out of any of this shit anyway. He gave it to the Taliban, though. He gave it to Bane. <laughs> Bane took all that shit. Way to have security, he Bruce he Wayne. No, he didn't Take buy it. it. He broke okay. in. If you yeah. have an arsenal like, in the oh. middle, hang He's on, like, oh, James. Look, if you have an arsenal, all the finest weapons. If you have an arsenal, if you have an arsenal in the middle of fucking nowhere, 
Mm -hmm. In the middle of not in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the fucking city, you don't have any sort of security. The fucking Bane can't use a bunch of homeless people and fucking go and start driving around in tanks and shit. That's what the fuck happened. He used mental Bane. patients and homeless people to fucking Bane. take over the city with the weapons. And That's if we're really, on, if we're really looking at the Stark stuff, it was Obadiah Stane that was selling weapons to the terrorists. Mm -hmm. Tony Stark was selling weapons to the United States. You like that freedom, boy? You like that freedom you got sitting on that couch right now? It's because of Stark and the U.S. military protecting our self-interest. Now, look how problematic what you just said is. I'm still saying it. In you regard, don't like, come on. Look, America's, number, America's military is number one because of things like Stark's weapons, right? Mm -hmm. the, he allows us to continue to have this sort of dominance and this sort of energy. And look, none of us are wishing we were born in any other country. Just letting that be known. Yeah. Outside of that, if we're looking at Stark going forward, yes, Stark did see what, what his weapons were doing. And what did he do? He went over to the Middle East and he fucked all that shit up. And then what did he do? If you look at even, uh, I think it was the Avengers movie or one of the ones he was telling he's in the clean energy, the arc reactor, what that does as far as, as far as the world and energy and being clean energy and being able to get us out of conflicts over things like oil, to be able to stop doing all the mm -hmm. things like global warming. Mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne has a city. Gotham hey, still looks like an question. absolute piece of shit. Hey, you know, hey, <laughs> like, let me ask you this question: Are we still not in conflict? Did they end any? Whoa, 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 whoa! Like, hold on. Did any of this happen? <laughs> wait, no, whoa, whoa, wait, so wait. You had it, but you no, didn't do it. Hold on, we're is that philanthropist? I don't hold think not. <laughs> we're hold on. We're we're talking not the real world. We're talking about right here in these oh, universes. In the movies, did it did it happen? In the universes didn't right didn't now, didn't they blow up a whole fucking city in the Avengers movie? Like, didn't all. Didn't, isn't that where everybody came, like half the villains came because, from? Hold on, because, mm. hold on, because of global conflict or because of aliens or some other form coming down to fucking Earth and starting some shit? And okay, there, all right. And who was there to stop guys. it? Let me pause you guys real quick, just one <laughs> real quick, just based off the things that you're saying, I'd like to add a couple tidbits of information. Um, KDOT had a good point at first about how, you know, um, like, basically like the shit is still there for bruce <laughs> and things and then he talked about like the bane thing but i felt like that was a bad point only because if we we're talking about enemies and letting them do shit literally iron man's entire series the entire trilogy is based off the technology that he created <laughs> that whoa, villains whoa, didn't whoa, got whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, i'm hold just on. saying we're talking that about philanthropy we're, 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 we're just well, talking you about philanthropy. But you, i'm just it's just a point to your bane point i'm only countering your bane fair, point fair, fair, fair. so like and then in ultra he literally created ultra who turned out to be one of the worst <laughs> villains who yeah. did, it then led into civil war but guess what Which, we don't talk about in the MCU? Global warming. Why? Tony Stark solved that shit with the arc reactor. Like, I'm sorry. If we're looking at the worlds that exist, majority of the reason the world is fucked up in the MCU is galactic shit. Gotham City is the fair. city that Batman's in and is a piece of shit. Best, <laughs> How many best. orphanages are still there with kids trying to figure shit out? He fucking sucks in those That was going to be my second point. Batman has started actual, like, philanthropist activities like events and things like like he has an orphanage he has like tony doesn't have a fucking orphanage like he, he doesn't give a fuck about orphans tony doesn't give a fuck about orphans so he does not at all that little kid <laughs> yeah but hold on he hooked him up afterwards yeah afterwards. he did he, 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 he been hooking him up crazy he been hooking up but i'm just saying it's like crazy all right. in the other room <laughs> Look, if we're if we're looking at it from the standpoint of strictly like Tony Stark and the way that he operates and does things compared to Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne's entire aura of being is he saw what happened to his parents and he's doing everything he possibly can to make sure the kids don't have the same thing happen to him. It's built to his core. Iron Man literally just wants the ego and the fuck shit up. But if I'm comparing, if we're looking at the orphanages that in the schools that exist in Gotham City, which I'm sorry, still is a piece of shit town. Metropolis always looks better, right? Outside of that, the motherfucker Tony Stark solved global warming and solved our energy dependency because of the arc reactor. Okay. All right. So we'll end here <clears throat> and I'm going to go point Bruce only because reactor? of this point. Only because of this point. Based off the movies, they had eight years of peace in Gotham. Whether it was built on a lie or whatever, philanthropy, like the town wasn't a piece of shit then. He had to go. <laughs> it wasn't a piece of shit in that time. And he done enough like as, as a philanthropist to keep it, you know, 
peaceful and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go point Bruce on this one, and we Thank can go you. to the next one, which I don't think is nearly as easy, which is wealth. And I'm gonna let K dot start on this one. Okay. Ooh. So this is a toughie, right? Because there's the wealth in the sense of where they are independently compared to also the wealth of, wealth of the companies that exist and where it is the controlling stock and everything is with that, right? So you have like Wayne Industries. I think it's a Bruce Wayne owns 51% because he's still a board. Um, he's got his Lucius Fox there kind of making shit happen. And all. But when I was really trying to look at what Wayne Industries does, I mean, they're involved in weapons. They're involved in a lot of stuff, but I can't really see every which way they're involved but i also i admit i missed out justice league so maybe there is a point in there that i just didn't see uh so the, but we also know that I mean shit if you look at the christian bell movies or anything i mean he gets to jet set with yachts and rent out the entire russian ballet if mm-hmm. i could go chill on a yacht with him it's pretty fucking dope not to mention the big difference between bruce wayne and uh and and, and tony stark as far as daily life you can barely tell that bruce is rich like he might drive a rich car every once in a while the, the house was passed down from his parents Tony Stark is fucking hemorrhaging money at any given point in time because he just his taste and his style and his extravagance. And there's also known, and this is where we get into, we don't want to bring up the comic book stuff, but they kind of bring it up a little bit in the movies, which is that he dealt with alcoholism. And at least comic book version of Tony Stark it went broke multiple times and then built all of his wealth back up. To me, there's always this element of Tony where it's like he's a weekend away from having to rebuild everything again. And also not to mention... If you did watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier, he wasn't helping them out with anything as far as payments go either. So just say, I don't know where it all ends up, but I think if I'm going to have to be honest, like who has the most in their bank account or who has more wealth, it probably is Bruce just because he doesn't have the same spending habits that Tony does. That's interesting. That's interesting. Go ahead, James. Well, when I wrote like my response, it was initially just going to be a push. But because I was like, there's no way to really, really tell. But just like based on how like everything seems, I guess you could go Bruce. Um, I will say this. I like Iron Man's style more than I like Bruce's style. For sure. Because, I mean, um, when the first one, when the first movie came out, like I was in love with the R8. Like seeing that car and like the growth of that car that made me fall in love with Audi. And then the I ended up getting an Audi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like uh, I like had that subtle, subtle flex, <clears throat> subtle flex. <clears throat> but I mean, I what I, did, I, I didn't I like I didn't like how the the R eight switched from the the carbon fiber panels on the side to the new ones where it doesn't have it. That that part pissed me off a little bit. Mm. Like I like to see the like the full slab of it. That was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, Bruce Wayne like came from money, so. Goes to him. Hey, Tony came for money too. I yeah yeah. I, I actually money. disagree with both money. of you. I think it's Tony. Okay. I think it's Tony. I think military contracts. I think like he like Tony is involved in a little bit of everything. Like in a little bit of everything, and I think Tony's probably got a slight edge. Bruce seems like to me, just to me, like I want to say local rich because I know he's not local <laughs> rich. Man, but look, anytime like, he wants something, he just say, all right, give me this. And then they just do it. But Tony does the same thing. Tony Tony's same house thing. is better than Bruce's house. Easily. And house is Avengers the, Tower or the Avengers one Tower. The West Coast. Either or. Listen, I think Tony, I think Tony has more than Bruce and has worse spending habits. And that and that and that's just my that's just my opinion. <laughs> but it, the, the other thing I'll say about Tony is that the government contracts aren't what they used to be because he stopped doing the weapons for the government itself, right? He did, so, yes. But uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. isn't necessarily the same thing it has been as far as the technology he's given. I don't know what those contracts look like. He's told Nick Fury I'll bill you before. So, I mean, like, I, right. I, I'm i just saying, like... No, that's true. That's provided, true. So, like, he provided hella carriers and shit. Like, Tony got some underhanded shit that y'all not consider. No, that, that's a fact. <laughs> but I would say the, the biggest moneymaker for Tony would be the energy thing, and it seems like he's doing that for free. So, like, that, there, there's that huge fundamental part of it. I was just... I'm still unsure about exactly what he's doing as far as the military contract or the government contracts go. I'm sure that S.H.I.E.L.D. money... Is insane. Those fucking helicarriers. Jesus Christ. Like, it's just, I think there's there's a good amount of money that he's probably getting from that. I don't know. I, you're probably right. Tony, I'm kind of thinking Tony about is so rich that he let Pepper run his his whole <laughs> organization. I don't think that's just about being rich. I just think, like, he, Pepper, got, he realized, like, no, I'm going to fuck this up. 
Again, you also know Pepper would do a better job than Tony would ever do as far as running the business. Right. Come on, come on. And it's more like I That's don't want to deal with this shit either. Obadiah did a better job running the company than fucking Tony did. Get your fucking moral backbone now. Like, Morgan Freeman was running Bruce's business. I trust Morgan. And Bruce ran it into the ground. If we're going by based off of that last uh, by the Dark Knight Rises, Bruce ran his, his business into the ground. We've never there's no movie, no, no movie no out movie there coming. with Tony Stark evidence of him going broke, close to broke, half broke, not right. like white people broke. None of that. <laughs> like none of that. So Peter it's Tony. Earlier just said that Tony Stark went broke multiple times in the comics. In the comics. That's the thing. It's in the Iron comic. Man. And you're right. You know, I'm going to have to change my answer. It is It is Iron Man. Like, it's just because of that aspect. The thing that I will say, though, is that from a flex standpoint in the universes, Lex Luthor and Bruce Wayne are pretty ma- evenly matched, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it, you're looking at, like, the richest guys in the world, right? There is one person in the MCU that makes Tony Stark look like a little broke bitch boy, and that's uh, T'Challa. And Bruce doesn't have one of those. <laughs> so I'm just saying, as far as universes go, he might look better and be able to do, because T'Challa's just shitting all over everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So nobody's out. signing Batman. Yeah, nobody, nobody's walking up. T'Challa would be like, you, you know, like Vibranium, like, it's just here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is more than everything you got. So. It's, just, we, it's, just, it's just here. Okay. All right. So let's go. So right now we're at one and one. Uh, yep. Bruce got philanthropy and we're giving Tony wealth. Um, and so with that, we're going to go to combat. And by combat, I just want to give this little caveat. I don't just mean martial arts skills. So this isn't just an easy take off for Bruce. This is also like when fucking Tony fucking got hit by a fucking planet because he has <laughs> by Thanos. And well, no, he he threw a moon at him. My bad. Yeah, it was a moon. If you throw another moon at him. <laughs> not, a planet, not, a planet, not a planet. Let me be clear. He threw a moon at him. <laughs> but so, so we're saying combat includes not only the Tony Stark, but Iron yes. Man, and not only includes yes. Bruce Wayne, but Batman. Yes. Okay. All right. So let me say this. I, I went with Batman, right? Okay. Mainly because of the fact that he can actually fight, fight. Fair. Uh, and that's fair. That's number one. Totally fair. But number two, uh, Tony really isn't going to do much without the suit, even though we're including the suit into it, right? But I'm like, okay. Batman could buy a suit like that. He and then one. what happens? <laughs> so, I mean, like, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that, that, so that's I, it's that simple for me. I think that you're all right. That's sort of fair. It's like high sense, level. Just like, like if not they're not, deep into if it. They're not dressed in their uniforms. Tony Stark is getting beat to death. Like it's not yeah. even close. Yeah. Like if Batman's gonna beat the Avalanche shit out of him, and then we also gotta realize we're also including the DC EU Batman, which is not like the bitch Christian Bell Batman that doesn't want to kill people. Ben Affleck Batman will fuck your shit up, and he will laugh the entire time he's fucking doing it. I just watched the warehouse scene. I was gonna say the warehouse scene is a classic. <laughs> I was watching the warehouse scene earlier today in a uh, Batman vs Superman, where he launches a crate and somebody's brains just explode on the wall. And he's just go stabbing this guy. Doing... This, this, this. So I actually think the combat thing comes down to what happens when they meet. Like I'm looking at combat as them two taking each other on, right? If okay. there's time and preparation, you'd want to say that Batman's going to take this thing because mm-hmm. there is nobody more ruthless than Batman is. Like I can see Batman saying certain things to Iron Man, just getting under his goddamn skin, like fucking uh, uh, like Roy I Pepper. Like yeah, <laughs> I just. Like, ah! Hey. Y'all, y'all, y'all are calling Batman KG right now, and I'm feeling real. Dis- <laughs> I'm feeling <laughs> real disrespected as a Batman. Man, but yeah, I'm gonna pepper let you taste like honey nut Cheerios, Tony. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, would, I would definitely say some shit like that. I'm just but. saying, like we've seen, we've seen how angry Tony can get as far as Batman. like uh, he he. This is the thing with Tony is his ego and his pride get into something. Like I can see Bruce absolutely getting tony slipping and as far as the technology goes don't sleep on batman suits and fucking armor and shit like he's got his shit on point but like if they just squared up easily one day bruce is walking down the street iron man shows up iron man takes it but what i also go to and the reason i'm gonna give it to bruce i don't see a situation in which bruce runs into tony that bruce hasn't already planned that he's gonna run into tony 
I don't think that he ever gets into a situation. He plans far ahead. He plans so far ahead that I don't think he'd ever be in a situation where Tony would creep up on him. And if they said, hey, June 1st, we're going to fight. Tony's going to end up dead in his fucking garage because Bruce don't give a shit. (laughs) What what, what Iron Man was that when the son of the... the, um, Iron Man 2? Yeah. Like, he was whooping Tony's ass. Oh, yeah. I'm like... Bruce can get whatever the fuck he was using, the little electrified whips. He can get yeah. that easy and whip Tony's yeah, ass. The yeah, Trump the, card uh, to me, the biggest Trump card, Batman took out Superman. That's what I, that's, I which, said. That, like, which we'll get into, ago. which we'll get into in the final oh, part see, of this gotcha. discussion. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But I will say that is definitely a point that I was going to bring up Batman taking out Superman, like when it comes to suits and stuff, because, but I also have to give that counter argument. Tony was fucking toe to toe with fucking Thanos, like with with what four with four of the uh, Infinity, Infinity Stones? Stones. I think he had four, and like they he weren't went, squared up though. They weren't. He had help, they and that was up. also going to be my point. Yeah, they, he were, had they help. were not squared up. He had help, and he needed help. <laughs> he <laughs> needed a fair, lot of fucking he help. He more help than what he got because I will say, and he's <laughs> Yeah, so I will like, say just because I know like fans get like heavy into this, and we know that we we went with the Batman prep time. It's like a running joke among fans, like on fucking superhero boards and shit like that. Like I get it. Batman prep time is you know it's a ri- it's a it's an author thing. Like whoever writes it, who's ever writing Batman, whenever he has pre- prep time, he's fucking undefeated. Like mm-hmm. we get it. But even without that kind of prep time, I just think that, like you said, so toe-to-toe, if, if it's Bruce and Tony, Bruce wins, right? Then you introduce suits. Well, I mean, Batman suit, suit of armor, bulletproof. He can go to multiple suits. Like, he went, he can go to the suit where he beat uh, Superman. It really just depends on, like, how they fight, when they fight, um, the circumstances behind it. And just based off of the movies suits. and everything, we can assume that Bruce will be better prepared. So... I think based off of that, I think we'll give category three to Batman. Um, mm-hmm. And right now it's a two one lead Batman over Iron Man. Um, and with that, I want to say we'll go to our fourth ca- category, which is intelligence plus technology. Uh, and I want James to start on this one. All right. So to me, it's clear. I give it the Iron Man. <laughs> like all of this shit is tech. <laughs> <laughs> like his fucking suit is tech. He has a million, million of other suits that he can use just tech to fight for him. Like, so he don't have to be there. Yeah. He can like send he his suits everywhere. Times. Like, yeah, he got a fucking army of just suits that he can use, which, I mean, I guess that goes into his wealth to be able to build all that shit. So, fair. I, I don't, yeah. I get at the, the wealth to Iron Man too, but um, I can tell you hurt. I can tell you hurt like yeah, that you had to say that. <laughs> I am. Because, I mean, but I did put it at a push, so it is what it is. But um, in terms of intelligence, Iron Man's clearly smarter. Um, Bruce got his, yeah, to, yeah, he's clearly smarter. <laughs> I, I don't, okay. Like, <laughs> Iron Man's just clearly smarter, in my opinion. Like, all of his stuff came from his ability to, to create shit. Um, mm-hmm. Batman got all like he has other people make shit for him. Iron Man does it himself. Um, and then technology, like Iron Man's claim to fame, really is technology. Um, he gets put in situations based on his ego, and then he thinks of a way out of it and creates some tech to fix it. To 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 be fair, I will just to capitalize on that exact point you just made he's created some of the worst villains through his own technology so yeah. i th- <laughs> so i think but, i mean you definitely gotta give him a point for technology. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I but, for but that's all i have if kada if you're ready we can just hear what you have to say yeah, yeah what's intelligence because like if they from an intelligence standpoint yeah, you created <laughs> you you, you, you you did I think, but you created Ultron. Like, are you really that intelligent? Like, what are you doing? Like, if your ego can't get out of the way, is it true intelligence? And I also want to say that I did go ahead and look it up as far as what was canon for the IQs of each. Mm-hmm. It is canon okay. that uh, Tony Stark's IQ, according to according to, according to Marvel, is one eighty six. According to DC, uh, Bruce Wayne's IQ is one ninety two. So we're looking at IQ, Bruce Wayne is smarter. 
it, from the intelligence quotient standpoint, right? Okay. Like okay. in the movies, uh, Tony Stark's nanotechnology is basically turned into a goddamn god. Like it's just okay. You can do whatever. Like all right, just create a sword because you think about it. like what the fuck you do. Like I just I don't understand it. I don't think Tony understand. I don't think anybody can understand how the fuck that shit work. But like to me, a part of Bruce is also the intelligence that comes with the discipline and the making sure that you are going to come out on top to put out to to separate your ego from it most of the goddamn time. That is a certain level of intelligence that you have to have. So like to me, that maturity. That, it might be it, but to me, that's a part of growth and in intelligence. And if I'm looking at that, yeah, Tony Stark can create anything. He created to a certain degree time travel, at least solved the issue of time travel. Mm -hmm. That is the biggest thing that's happened in any of these two universes. Like that's insane. Yep. Um, to, to use technology to get there. I mean, it's Hank Pym's. Hank Pym's definitely smarter than Tony, in my opinion. But there's like there, there's a certain element of that. But if you're so busy getting in your own way, can you really say you're that intelligent? Whereas Bruce Wayne is just he gets the job done. I think that the thing with Bruce Wayne that we're not giving is that he doesn't necessarily need all the tech or are we saying if part of the MCU, if we're given the nan to me, the nanotechnology almost hurts in the sense of I just don't think anybody ever is smart enough to come up with something that fucking ludicrous. Like it just feels like it feels like they're cheating. But that's intelligence. But that's it just feels like it's cheating. But uh, but that is I don't know. I, I want to say because of the wisdom that Bruce has and the fact that he can separate his ego and the fact that according to everything I looked up, his IQ was higher. I can understand people making the argument for Iron Man, but I'm going to go Bruce. I okay. actually think Bruce is smart. Ah, you guys are conflicting on this. I like that. That's dope. That's nice. Yeah, All right. So I want to add one, one last part, though. Go ahead. It is one thing that Iron Man always gets into like trouble because of his ego and creates all these issues, right? But he's smart enough to get out of it every time. With a little help from his friends. That motherfucker has never gotten out of anything by himself. And... <laughs> Well, he made out of that cave. Hold on, but he made out of cave. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for Young and it helped him, it saved yeah. his life. Actually, created the arc reactor, which is what we got to figure out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In I that cave, that in that cave, that magnetic device and everything that was holding that motherfucker alive, wasn't Tony's invention. It was the dude that was in the fucking cave's invention. That's fair, but to I feel like I'm caping for Tony because but I'm, Bruce is my favorite. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> but Bruce gets a lot of help too. I mean, fucking Alfred's listening on every fucking call, and mm -hmm. Alfred's got to do this. Shit, fuck, like Alfred does everything. He does like half of Bruce's preparation. He does. He does. Like, That's he part does. of it, right? And he puts intelligence is making sure you keep the right people around you. Oh, same thing with Tony then. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I want to add this one last part though. Go ahead. One of the biggest mistakes that either either of them have made is Batman killed Superman. So that was very smart. <laughs> I didn't see Justin Lee, but he comes ego. back. That was Didn't ego. they do the really shitty CGI around uh, his mustache thing? I remember hearing <laughs> Man, about that, that so he's terrible. back. And to I just want to say Mission Impossible Fallout, good movie. <laughs> like really good movie. <laughs> like with, with the actual mustache, <laughs> good movie. Yeah, it was a, a bathroom fight scene. So yeah, great, great scene. Shit. Great scene. All right. So moving on. Well, well, before we move on, I would like to say, so you guys are split on this, and I'm gonna give it to Tony only because only because we we it combined intelligence and tech. I think they're close enough mm -hmm. in, in, in intelligence where you could like, okay. I'm gonna go with Bruce, but I think Tony's gap is a little bit bigger when it comes to technology. Like he's a little bit ahead of Bruce. Um, Bruce so not a little bit. He's, he's a lot. lot he's a lot. He's a lot ahead of Bruce. My Bruce ain't and doing. So I got to go with Tony for this one. Yeah, I still. I, I will say this though. Another thing that I'm just going to hop in the same way with the wealth thing. T'Challa shits on all of them because I mean, if we're looking at <laughs> yeah, he does. when they're struggling to try to figure shit out, and you got Shuri just in there, why don't y'all just try this shit? Like we just do this every day. Like the fuck wrong, y'all? Like, we should shit. just call this T'Challa shits on all of them. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> I mean, we gotta keep it on. Well, if if you look at it, T'Challa would win three out of the four categories so far. Yeah, people sleeping on just how much I, power T'Challa got. What what, 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 what category does he lose? He doesn't lose one. Philanthropy. Nah, he just started the whole like Compton shit. Nope. Because <laughs> like, uh, no, no. right, he started no, no. art here, school in Compton. Here's my part. No, 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 here's my part. <laughs> they, they had all of that, the wealth of resources in Wakanda for the longest time and didn't they share did. shit with the outside world. So they that's did. the definition of philanthropy. That they did. just now started. Yeah. It. 
but Tony and Bruce don't care about niggas. So there you go. <laughs> so there you go. So it's different. And when you helping black people, it's different. So we're gonna. I mean, there was a stuff. bunch of other black, like man. All we, I know we can is talk Captain about America. Black Captain America. Lady. Captain America. I saw Captain America's apartment in DC. That nigga was on payroll. Tony did not pay at all. He ain't get shit to Falcon, who in there trying to get government loan, again trying to get loans hey, to the bank. Yeah. That's some bullshit. Pepper, yeah. Pepper, Pepper, everybody fine. Falcon out there trying to you. Hey, yeah, you okay, now you're broke. Dog, broke. Come on. come on. Imagine that. You know, you know, Bruce wouldn't let Robin be broke. He, he kind of did. <laughs> he kicked his ass to the curb. All right. Nope. He gave. He hey. The DC Christian Bell version gave Robin a whole fucking suit, a cave, told yeah, him where to go. Like you got <laughs> hey, like, a cave. Oh, you didn't give him no apartment. He's like, hey, you can stay in this hole. <laughs> Hey, he gave do, the, do what he you gave, hold on. He gave the building Mamba mentality. Do your job, save the city, stay in this fucking <laughs> cave. Get you, you got your suit, <laughs> you got this fucking cave, all his resources. Save the fucking city. That's what he uh-huh. did. All right, What's all right. Name? So, with that, we're at 2 2 right now. Uh, mm-hmm. tie game. I didn't think it'd be this close to be honest. Um, but it is, and we're gonna go with the last and final category, which is feats. Which you know, for those of you who don't know. The feats, the things that these people have accomplished or went through, you know, trial tribulations, uh, where they moments where they've had success despite mm-hmm. all of that. Um, and we'll start. First. okay, all right, go ahead. All right. To me, this one is Batman. Okay. And give me give me his feel feats. Clear. To me, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. Justice League about to get spoiled for me. God damn it! No, 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 <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. You don't no, need no, Justice League. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Right, right. I'm not I just want to make sure I've, I've waited this long to see Justice I League. I don't want to spoil. I'm not, for I'm not doing any spoilers. I'm not <laughs> doing any spoilers. I'm just going to say a couple things. Okay. Number one, we all we already discussed multiple times that he killed Superman, right? Number two is just based on the fact that Batman has been around for so long. And we've had so many different movies where he's done shit in every single movie. He had just has a, he has more like the, for me, Iron Man is nostalgia just because of like the timing and like the start of Marvel and all that other shit. And like, I only see like what happened in those Marvel movies. Right. But with Batman it's like, it goes back even further. So there's a, there's a lot more things that Batman has done in movies from that time when I was a, a baby, even my father w- w- would watch that shit compared oh, to he now. took on Mr. Freeze. Hmm? <laughs> hey man, Arnold Schwarzenegger hey. was the strongest yeah. man on the earth. That like I, I loved that movie when I was a kid, that but movie. also the fact that oh, he has shit. a Batmobile. So it is, but I loved it too as a kid. I'm a Batmobile, like, but like I couldn't edge. watch it now. They did that little Visa card shit. That was so fucking whack. But go ahead, go ahead, James. <laughs> And I'll end off by saying again that he has the Batmobile. To me, that's a big ass feat, in my in my humble opinion. Well, Tony so has a his, Lamborghini. His feat is that he ha- Hold no, on, who has. Who has a Lamborghini? I didn't want to. I didn't want to like. Who Tony has a Lamborghini? Batman. Tony. Tony, has Tony Batman Lamborghini. has a Lamborghini. You remember yeah. he crashes it um, into the. He uh, does too. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, has. Yeah. Tony has the the R eight and all the other Audis because Audi had to deal with Marvel. Yeah, yeah, product placement. Um, yep. fucking broke boy Tony. I mean, but oh, that shit worked for the R8, like for real. It was a cool car, and it, they put in a bunch of Marvel movies. Yeah, cool it was fucking car. capitalist, goddamn brainwashing. Still is I'm a sure. cool car. That's yeah, fine. Uh, the you get one for like sixty k right now, which is crazy. Really? I was like your Audi yeah. was a money pit. You could you couldn't mm-hmm. wait to get your goddamn Mustang. I don't hear your shit. What do you mean? I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm like, joking. I'm joking. Yeah, of course. Like the A4 and all the A6. All right, I'm just talking about your goddamn cars. All right, if we're talking about feats. You started. Well, I, I started know. it. Yeah, you did. did. If we're talking about feats. I'm gonna go a little bigger than a car. Like we're looking at. I what tried not to the... ruin shit for you. <laughs> I appreciate it, but if we're looking at all right. So from the movies and everything that I have seen, and mm-hmm. seeing what it is these two guys that. You got Iron Man who saved the world, sort of. I mean, he saved half of the universe, which is a pretty big fucking feat. That being said, he lost the first fight, and he did have a lot of help in order to get it done the second time around. If Captain Marvel doesn't show up, they got a problem. If uh, Scarlet Witch isn't there, they got a problem. Like, there, if everybody isn't running on 10... And it's a lot of them. Doesn't, it's a lot of them. Like, he's it's got a lot, a lot of, of help. What Batman got. Batman took down Superman one on one. Yep. 
that to me is bigger than like because if you look at the strength that like i i have seen i, I did uh, i tried to watch one clip from justice league it was the 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 clip in the not the not the uh not the director's cut but in the original when they're uh meeting down and it's uh superman versus the them four so flash and all of them and when superman yeah. sees flash coming turns sees his ass and everything that's on some other level shit. Like Thanos, crazy. Thanos and Iron Man's fight was legit, but he had so much fucking help to get it done. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, there's still a part of me that looks at the first fight and um, when uh, they're trying to take the gauntlet off of, why did Tony just shoot fucking um, Star Lord? Just like knock him to the side. It's like something. I don't know. It bothers me every time I watch it. But it's just this element of like Tony loses a lot. And I'm not counting the Christian Bale Batman because that motherfucker is just a loser, like just period. Like he lucks into so much shit. I don't understand how Christian, like best director of those movies. Christian Bale is the worst Batman. Um, <laughs> just just throwing it out there. We can add that wow. category if you want. Like, I'm just saying. Wow. It's just look. Bane broke his back after he walked down in a dark goddamn sewer like a goddamn idiot. You're supposed to be the world's greatest detective. You end up with your back broke. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Batman took out Superman in Ben Affleck. Like, that's a difference there. There's a difference between I got my back broke by Bane by walking down in a sewer to like, I took Superman on one on one and I had his ass. I let him feel human for a second. That's some... <laughs> God, it's good. What? It's so good. Um, King, make sure you wear that shirt again when we do the next ASOS too for Stuff. Ryan. <laughs> I've been saving it. <laughs> Steph better. All right, so who's got right, feet? Who's got? All right. Well, it sounds like <laughs> K Dot kind of gave up on on Batman there. I don't know. No, 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 no. I gave up on one version know. of Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you up did, on did. one version of Batman. I gave up on the Christian Bale version of Batman. He didn't even take out Bane. Catwoman took out Bane. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's not he a lot of Bane, no. He did not take out Bane. And we still need to figure out how the fuck did you get from the desert back to Gotham? How the fuck you do that? <laughs> That's a feat. That's a feat. With money. The biggest feat is how the fuck you <laughs> drop off a nuclear bomb and outswim the bitch. Like, you! <laughs> That's the feat. God, they turned the AC I, off in this fucking apartment building. I'm sweating like a goddamn slave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is tough. I don't know. I'm undecided, almost. But... Only because he had help, I'll go with Bruce. I'll go with Batman. He has the greatest feat, in my opinion, being Superman. But Tony has great feats as well. He beat Thanos, but he had he did have a lot of help. He he had like a, a, a huge amount everybody. of help. <laughs> like even at the end, like it was it was Cap at the end that was about to take on Thanos one on one on some I let, let, let's just go shit because. Tony was over here, got his ass kicked. <laughs> Thor, uh, God, got his ass kicked. But it was Steve fucking Rogers who was right here. Iron Man got his ass kicked looking over at Doctor Strange. Nigga, you, what's happening? Do I have to try? <laughs> like, was, this the number, was this the one chance that, that you were talking about? Is this the one chance or am I just going to die? I'm just going to chill right here. because like, I had talking. nightmares about <laughs> this, man. Like, why are we? Exactly. Exactly. Do y'all want to add movies or no? No. No. This is long. No. I don't want this to go. Yeah, I don't want this to go too long. I think this is a good like amount of time. Only like, correct we answer. Got, like, 40 that, minutes, basically. So the answer is the, the answer <laughs> so, so the answer to the question we're asking on this unequal opinions is what? Who's better? Yep, Bruce Wayne or Tony Stark? And what's our answer? Bruce Wayne. All right, Marvel hats. Suck my dick. No, I'm joking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Marvel makes way better movies. Uh, <laughs> overall, yes, but even yeah. though Christian Bale's a dumb Batman, it's a great run that Christopher Nolan did. Yeah. He's the best director to ever touch these superhero movies. With that, there's some things that he does right. Heath Ledger is one of the best. With Heath Ledger. As far as live action movies, yeah, I give it to you. 
But Christian Bale to me, he just misses the mark. I, I always thought he kind of he's he's a better Bruce Wayne than he was a Batman. But as a Batman, that motherfucker took too many else. Yeah, and I ain't walking, walking around in That's Gotham. Cool. I ain't gonna kill nobody. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I have fond mem- memories of Batman and all the movies. <clears throat> Okay. And, all the well, and with that, I would just like to say we got Batman winning, winning. Basically, fans, viewers, who do y'all got? Yeah, who y'all got? And just know Michael Keaton's the best Batman. If you didn't know now, you know, because I told you. <laughs> I don't think anybody was debating it. I think everybody knew. And that. maybe and next time maybe we can be back and we'll rank the best Batman films, versions of Batman. Yeah, we can get into some other best like, bat chin. Who has the best bat chin? That's, That's Affleck, Clooney. Easy. Clooney and uh, Clooney. Clooney. Clooney's uh, you, yeah, you sleeping I, on Clooney. I'm not looking at no other man's chin trying to ring. You him. have to. He, he leaves it open. <laughs> like, <laughs> the fuck? No, <laughs> I don't have I, to. <laughs> he does it I'm on not purpose. At it. I'm not standing I mean, in no man's he, chin. <laughs> Yeah, when they're wear, wearing but, the cowl, all you see is the chin. You ain't, you ain't gonna wear that. You ain't gonna watch his chin, but you wearing another man's logo on your body. Fuck around with you. No chin. Well, logo, you got logos on too. I got no logos on. No logo. I can make a case for one, but we'll, we'll do another day. What Jesus? Yeah, probably can. Another I know. day. <laughs> oh man, bullshit. my glasses are fogging up. This is how hot I am. <laughs> and right, that wraps I, up today's podcast <laughs> peace everybody <laughs> <laughs>